All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back for another Discord voice chat permissions tutorial talking about how to set up your very own push to talk channel so that if you have anybody who plays with you or hangs out with you, or they have a constantly open microphone listening to fan noise or barking dogs or screaming kids, you can now force them to use a push to talk button so you don't have to constantly be annoyed by whatever sounds might be in the background. And it's actually pretty easy to do, and I've already got a sample channel right here. And as you can see, as I'm talking and I unmute myself, my little green light does not light up until I hit the C button, and all of a sudden I start to talk, and then when I let up on the button, it stops so that, you know, let's say there's a TV on behind me, no one's gonna hear that. So I'm going to show you how to create that here today. I'm just going to delete this old channel just for the sake of example. And all you really have to do is find whatever category you want to create this channel in. I'll just set it in my private section so that nobody jumps in while I'm recording this tutorial. And you just click on the plus button, or you can right click just about anywhere in this area to do the same thing to bring up create voice channel. We're going to go in here, we're going to create voice channel, selecting this setting right here. We're going to call this push to talk. And then we're going to create or click create channel. Now to get it so that everybody is forced into using only push to talk, all you have to do is edit the channel, go down to permissions, select the at everyone permission and go down to the very bottom and find use voice activity and you just say no. Nobody gets to automatically use voice activity. You are now forced into using push to talk. Now, anybody who comes in this channel has to have push to talk enabled or they will appear muted like this icon here. And that's all you have to do. And if you want, you can also add some particular permissions. Like let's say you've got a friend or an admin or a moderator of some variety that you'd like to be able to use voice activity. You can nix this permission by just finding them in the list of people or just typing in their name. Like maybe you type in Bob, this guy here, and you can say, this guy can use voice activity. I would just be careful doing that because that looks like a certain level of favoritism in the group, letting one or two people that you trust use voice activity while everyone uses push to talk. However, if you trust them and they have a pretty good microphone, I wouldn't necessarily worry about it too, too much. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and just slip those down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you with any problems you might have. And if you have any ideas for future tutorials, please let me know. One of the ways I know what to make for you guys and gals out there is when you ask me for something, when you tell me or you're curious about some settings, some bot, or some feature that is a little bit confusing. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I've got a couple of other videos here popping up on the screen right now that are related to this one to help you learn how to do Discord voice chat better, both as an individual user and as an admin of your very own server. And until next time, have a good one, everybody, and catch you later.